Hypixel, I think it's time for a change. Alright, hello champions, or anyone new that is watching this video. If you are new, welcome to the channel. If you are part of the Chiap Nation already, then welcome back to another video. Here we go, we are in Bed Wars once again, because you guys did like the last few Bed Wars videos that I did end up making. So once again, yes, here we are, and my bed already got destroyed up, and uh, wow. Okay, well, but uh, looks like I was killed by a hacker. That was definitely a good way to start the game. And, uh, here he goes. Uh, yeah, that person said- <laughs> Look, this person said that fast, and look, um... Well, I guess we caught a hacker on record, and he said auto-clicker. Okay, well, um, I guess we can go ahead and start another round, because this was unexpected. Alright, well, now we are back into the new round. That was definitely unexpected last game, but that wasn't even what the video was supposed to be about. But anyways, like I said, welcome everybody to this Bed Wars game. So here we go, we're once again in the Bed Wars. If you are currently from my channel, sorry for not posting uh, for a period of four days. I was just busy with school and everything, so yeah, that was the main reason. But if you are new to the channel, welcome to this kind of video, because this will probably be posted on the uh, Hypixel forum, so a lot of people will probably be seeing it. But it's about Bed Wars. Now, it's probably a clickbaity title a little bit, but anyways, this change that I'm talking about is going to be about Bed Wars. So, I know a lot of people have been playing Bed Wars, and especially recently, Hypixel has recently just updated their Bed Wars. And I gotta admit, Hypixel, you guys did an amazing job of actually updating the Bed Wars. Like, about the whole entire, like, where you keep your pickaxe if you upgrade it and stuff like that. There's a whole bunch of new things that Hypixel ended up adding for Bed Wars, and it's literally, like, a really good improvement. But one thing that I didn't like about the update too much was the update on the invisible potion because the invisible potion or the invis potion I'll just call it invis potion for short because that's what a lot of people say anyways but the invisible potion it used to literally not be invisible when it first came out and uh, okay well my bed is ripped but anyways I, I'm not really planning to win this game anyways you guys so sorry about that but I'm gonna try and take out this guy's bed but anyways the invisible potion is something that I don't mean to complain about or anything but I feel like it's a little bit too overpowered at the moment because it used to be where you would drink the invisible potion look I actually I don't think I can even show you guys because it's not uh what I'm call okay I'll see if I can kill this yellow guy look so this is how it used to be where you could see people's armor and you would literally look invisible but now the invisible potion where you can is like where you can barely see the other person like this guy can't even see me right now like he's just walking over here but then all of a sudden I can just knock him off and then he looks back and he's like whoa where did he even come from and he just like sees me all of a sudden and this guy's gonna get me isn't he oh wait 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 oh combos 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 <laughs> okay that was, that was actually pretty good now yeah once again I'm not really the type of person to complain a lot about a lot of things but I think this invisible potion is definitely quite a little bit OP and I think it should either go back to last or maybe it should just be removed all in general now I know a lot of other people are gonna say stuff and like reply to this video and say things like well the invisible potion it's all part of the game it's like a good strategy how you can actually take out people's beds because you know you can just use the invisible potion or like I had a game earlier where there was a person that had ender pearl behind me and I heard the ender pearl, and I was just attacking all around me because I knew that they were behind me. But they had to have been using an invisible potion because I literally couldn't see them anywhere. And if you're even hitting around you and you literally like hear the ender pearl, then how are you supposed to really know where the person is until they actually knock you off? So I feel like the invisible potion is a little bit overpowered. Now I guess they could put like a cooldown on the like potion time or something, like make it a little bit less. I really don't see how that would really help too much. But I'd honestly like to hear your guys' opinion opinions on it like if you're still for the invisible potion let me know why like besides strategy wise I guess or I mean <laughs> I mean you guys can pretty much just tell me your opinion on the invisible potion but yeah I definitely like to see like what people are else thinking about this because I've talked to a few people who haven't really liked the invisible potion now the other potions like speed potion jump potion I mean that's a really good job I even like how they incorporated that but then again some people might say like well jump could be overpowered or maybe speed could be overpowered or some if you're chasing after someone and you can catch up to them but I think invisibility just in general it's kind of like a cheap way to kind of win the game but I mean once again it is a strategy but I just feel like it should be adjusted a little bit but yeah so that's my kind of theory on this uh, the invisible potion you guys let me know definitely what you think and uh, be respectful of other people's opinions I would definitely say in the comments
comments not too many times is that a problem on my channel but you know if someone has an opinion of one thing you have an opinion of a next you can kind of justify it but don't be rude about it or anything but anyways here you guys go we are going to just be kind of trying to win this bed wars game i think i'm gonna honestly die anyways but uh we'll see how this ends up going okay i got some good armor we got port game in here this guy really wants me doesn't he okay we definitely need to play this a little bit better i should probably eliminate his bed that would be it'd be something good to do hey you guys i literally just purchased an invisible potion right now kind of to show you guys how this is a little bit overpowered so we have this guy that keeps on coming after me on pink team right this guy right here okay so watch what happens when i actually don't even know if he has a whole bunch of good stuff if he has a whole bunch of good stuff around his bed then that's kind of ripped the idea a little bit because i actually might die here literally if i get knocked off at any second i'm literally gonna be ripped okay here we go here goes the guy again oh geez oh geez oh geez oh geez oh geez here we go gotta place down that tnt gotta place down the tnt okay oh he's right behind me and rip Okay, oh jeez, he still survived, he still survived, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm literally gonna die. Oh no, rip. <laughs> okay, you guys, well, I guess that kind of didn't show it too much. See, one of my favorite maps are actually this Speedway map, and I do like how Hypixel, like the build team and everything, they made it like Halloween themed, I do really like this map, so congratulations on that Hypixel. Once again, I'm not feeling to like, I'm not here to like put down the game or anything. Bed Wars is literally an amazing game, I especially like it a lot, but uh, you know, I think like if servers like listen to the community, you know, that's how like players want to stay on like the server and stuff like that so this is just my opinion on what could be tweaked to bed wars a little bit maybe you might they might change it maybe they might not i mean if they changed it just because of this video that'd actually be pretty amazing but once again i would want a lot of people to agree with it if a lot of people don't agree with it or they see something wrong with it that i don't probably see currently then definitely let me know once again but i think this is going to be our last game so hopefully i actually can probably do good and that's not necessarily win it but uh let's see how this goes so usually the first thing that i do whenever i'm playing bed wars you guys is I usually just build off straight to the middle and then I get some like emeralds a lot of people will actually sometimes just like defend their base and then other people will actually do exactly what I'm doing but the one, number one reason why I'm even building off to middle is because you can actually get pretty OP from all these emeralds like you could even get like an ender pearl and stuff like that I really do like the idea of the ender pearl you can like the ender pearl can change so many things in the bad wars game but yeah all right here we go though I do have a few ender pearls or ender pearls did i just say ender pearls no i meant emeralds okay and i think i'm actually just gonna go and see if i can get other people's beds because if i oh i could get this rag base he's not even paying attention here we go here we go here we go and one tap right here and there we go okay so oh and what do you guys know i thought my bed was gonna get destroyed so i'm glad i got those ender pearls or not ender pearls emeralds because that is why it is really good to get the emeralds you guys Okay, there are a lot of high levels into this game. I'm only a six star, dude. Only a six star. It looks like my bed was actually eliminated by Pink Team over there. And there goes Pink's bed right there. Nice job, red guy. I was going to go and take it out anyways. But in the end, everyone's going to have to go anyway. So definitely going to have to play this. I'm probably... Wait, is Gray Bed... Gray Bed is still here. Gray Bed is still here. So it wouldn't... So look, you guys, I do like this update where like if you die with one of these tools, you can actually keep it and it will just like go downgraded by one so that's actually pretty cool i do like that idea a lot hypixel so nice job for that all right i'm going over to this guy's base wish us luck you guys i don't really have the best armor or anything but it's still kind of decent you know he's even building this little port thingy okay but anyways we're gonna go ahead and keep going in here and there goes his bed there goes his bed dude and i think if we just eliminate him oh he might actually eliminate me he might actually eliminate me dude oh he has five hearts so i can get him i can get him okay gg gg i also like the wit effects i forgot about that and even like the death effects those things are pretty cool it's literally me and this blue guy over here this blue guy right here dude if this blue guy eliminates me at any point, then it's completely ripped for me. So, we're going to see how this goes. I'm going to go ahead and eat another golden apple. Maybe I could get a few more uh, wool blocks. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? And then we can just go on from here. I need to eliminate his bed. I have a lot of good tools right now, so it's definitely possible. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, but if we do, dude, one like equals one good luck to actually take out this guy's bed. So, 
we'll see what goes on. I think he's actually getting Ender Pearl, or I don't know why I keep saying Ender Pearls for Emeralds, but I think he's actually getting Emeralds right now. That's actually not a bad idea to go and take out his bed right now, unless he has It's a Trap. If this guy has It's a Trap, then that's not good. Okay, he does not have It's a Trap. He does not have It's a Trap, and there goes his bed, and he said rip. He said rip, dude. Okay, it's me versus him. Good luck. I'm not gonna even wish this guy. Good luck. Good luck, dude. Okay, he's an 8 star. 8 star versus 6 star. Oh, jeez, dude. Can I knock him off with the fireball? Can I knock him off with the fireball, dude? Can I knock him off? Oh, he missed it. He missed it. Nice job. Nice job. That was pretty good. Okay, dude. Now this guy. This guy. Good luck, dragon. 1856. Good luck, dude. But we're gonna see how this goes. Okay, so he's gonna jump on over, isn't he? He's gonna jump on over. He's gonna jump on over. Oh, and then the combos. And then the wombos. And then, oh, he had zero hearts as well. <laughs> and he said axe. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. GG. Oh wow, he said nice reach. Look at this one effect really quick here. It's like an ice one effect. It's like I'm just like someone from Frozen or something. That is amazing. Oh my goodness, dude. That is definitely pretty funny. But yeah, once again, I think that's going to be it for the end of this Bed Wars video. You guys definitely crushed the support on the video last time. So if that happens once again with this video, there will be another Bed Wars video up soon. So I want to thank all of you guys definitely for the support on the Bed Wars videos recently. And uh, yeah, so I think that's that is going to be pretty much it for this video. Once again, I don't mean to be rantful or anything, if that's even a word, you guys. But, uh, yeah, it's just kind of my opinions on the Invisible Pot Potion. So, definitely let me know on what you think about that. And I think that's going to be it for the end of this video. So, I want to thank all of you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And, uh, peace.